Hello everybody, it's Andy here from A Media Games. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a pulsing light, um, like a pulsing light effect, kind of like from the Alien films. Uh, so, the reason I've got it in unlit mode is obviously this is going to be a warning. So, if anybody got photosensitive epilepsy or if you're sensitive to light, there's going to be flashing lights in this video. So, please be aware of that. When I take it out of unlit mode and go into lit mode, that's when you'll start to see the pulsing light and we're going to increase and decrease the intensity throughout the video just to show you how it works. So that's the warning. That's over and done with. So let's dive into the video. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you what I mean by a pulsing light. So this could be the warning light on the top of a building in your game for the planes or plane traffic. This could be the light in a spooky corridor in a sci-fi game this could be um, anything really this could be simulating car traffic going by a window as the car comes through or any I don't know any any kind of a use case scenario that you might think of so to create this it's relatively simple um, all you're gonna have to do is so let's create a new material I'm going to name this one um, emissive underscore two just because I've already got one <clears throat> I'm going to open it up on the correct window where it is there it is and in here there's a couple of things that we'll have to change and we'll also have to create a light function um, a light function is basically just a way of controlling the light source through a material so when you create your material blueprint that's going to then control how the light will react in your level so in here we're going to click on our emissive 2 and we're going to go down to where it says surface and we're going to click on light function once we have selected light function we'll notice that the only thing that's available for us now is emissive color so it's all on its own it's the only one that we can influence so out of this we're going to get a cosine this is going to give us our pulsing effect we can influence it here I'm going to set a default value of 6. Um, you can change this whenever you like. It depends on your scene and how it fits your game, etc. We're going to connect our cosine into emissive. We'll notice that we get an error. I'm doing it this way intentionally to show you that you're going to get errors. We'll fix them as we go. The next thing we're going to get is a multiply. I'm going to connect that up into cosine. And out of this multiply, we're going to get a time node. So type in T-I-M-E. Make sure you get this one here, time. <coughs> this is kind of like your event tick of a material. So this is going to do an action f f over a period of time. So every so many seconds or whatever it is you set it to, this is gonna do um, an action. And this will then go into uh, another multiply. So I'll hold M and left click, connect that into the A channel. And then out of the B, we're going to get a scalar parameter. So hold S and left click. And then we're going to name this to intensity. Uh, in, oops. Intensity. There we go. And that's going to go into the B channel of our multiplier. And then into our A, we're going to use a um, free constant with a color select. So hold free and left click. It'll give us a a free value constant RGB and then this will enable us to select a color we're going to connect our <coughs> our top pin into our A and in here we're going to then convert to a parameter we're going to give this one a name emissive color although it's not that important but yeah emissive color and that's going to then be changed to default oops wrong one there we go and that should be fine there we go so we have our white emissive I'm gonna set a default value here to let's say one for now and I click apply and if we click our mouse on our sphere and move it you can see it will it will pulse nice and slowly so if I move the camera it'll automatically update that for us and we can see here that it's pulsing so if we go into our scene we currently have our, our red light. Let's close this and go into unlit so we'll get rid of that so we can actually see what we're doing. 
and we have here our, our light source which is a spotlight and if we click on our spotlight and go down and scroll down we should see what's called light function materials if we click uh, click on our emissive 2 the one I just created and we then click on this little arrow which means basically drop the material here apply it we can then apply that in and if we go into the level we can see that the light will slowly pulse now what we can do is we can then go into our emissive and we can right click on it and create a material instance this is then an instance of this that we can edit those parameters in. So if we click on our light, click on our material instance, and then apply that here, we can then open up our material instance. You can see here we can enable our missive color and intensity. If we, <coughs> excuse me, if we increase our intensity, it will flash quicker. Uh, let's close that one. There we go. I'm going to set this to free. I'm going to move this to the other side, just like this. Oops. Move this to the other side. Move this out so we can see what we're doing. Have this down here. And then if we go into the, not into the game, if we go into lit mode, we can see here that we have our light pulsing. So this is the warning that I mentioned. It's going to go a little bit quicker. So we're going to set that to four. And we'll see here that it'll automatically change and you can see you can have an increased intensity or you can oops where is, where's it gone there there it is and we can increase that again so it'll pulse even quicker so this is really good you could have like an alarm sound going on in the background you could have some really intense music um again it's all just to help you give you some ideas um so if you like the video please like it um i'm not sure why you dislike it but everyone has a choice so yeah if you like it like it. if you dislike it dislike it if you share it with other people so they can learn too um hit that subscribe button to help the channel grow because it really helps me supports me and keeps me being able to provide videos like this for people to learn on real engine so thanks very much for watching and um, take care and i'll see you all in the next one bye bye for now